two miles, take exit 52 toward New Gretna. North Carolina yesterday and here in New Gretna, New Jersey now. The Viking factory here. It's uh, quite a facility. I'm pretty excited to show you. It's their little guest house here. Stayed there a few times for, for their captains that are doing building projects and they want to be on site. Yeah, such a cool company. Spot right out front here. I'm going to sit down and go over all the details and specs on the 38, make sure we're all online on everything, meet with the engineers, the interior people, and uh, you're going to get a great tour of the factory. It's, it's going to be pretty impressive, I'm sure. Here we go. Don't get much more American than that. American flag and a blue marlin. Thank you. You're welcome. Mr. Lyles, what's happening, buddy? How are you? Good, how are you? Good, good to see you. Good to see you. Everything going good? Yeah. What's going on? Staying busy? Oh, yeah. <clears throat> how you doing, Anthony? Good, how are you? Pretty good. Good to see you, man. My name's Anthony Scola. I'm the International Sales Manager here at Viking Yachts. I've been with Viking for 17 years now. On April 1st, we'll be celebrating our 60th anniversary. Wonderful family owned company based right here out of New Gretna, New Jersey. So one of the biggest points that is great about the company is our ability to work with the customer to kind of go through everything they need and put it into each build individually. Even though we're a production company, we try to accommodate as many of these little needs the customers have as possible. That wouldn't be the same without this guy. Well, I appreciate that. So working with the bad company guys, uh, specifically Steve, you know, hand in hand, like I have with many builds now. The start of the 38 was a, a phone call, some notes, and it evolved into meetings with engineering and, and phone calls, just going through everything, hitting all the points they need for their specific needs for the 38, which would be, you know, the, the custom forward pulpit area with a recessed windlass so that they can walk up there seamlessly. Uh, the tuna tube integration in the transom box um, and all, all sorts of items like that. Well, I got the big boy room. You know what you're looking at as well as I do. So more than anything, I just, if there's anything glaring that pops out to you that you want to change or do. Steve's great to work with. He's always got new ideas for us to try and, and working with engineering. Got all engineering here. Currently the 38 is in the mold, uh, which means the gel coat was sprayed and they started to laminate the hull. It'll be in there for, you know, roughly two and a half weeks, and then it'll be pulled from there and, and we'll start the egg crate process. My colleague, Kyle Jewell, is gonna take you guys through the factory, run you up the line that the 38 will be built on. So it'll be on line four and be able to show you some more details on the boat as it progresses further down the line. More warehouse storage, keep everything from our rudders, our struts, incoming parts here. Everything's labeled for its model. So try to keep it as clean and efficient as possible. So we're gonna move over to our electrical and wiring department where we'll show you where we make all the harnesses for each and every boat here. So this is our wiring department here at Viking. All of our harnesses are built and labeled in-house. As you can see here, these wires are all labeled for their parts. This is where they go. This is all done in-house. So this is a 54 that has full wiring harness and is ready to go. A lot of this is about maintaining quality control, right? We're able to build the harnesses here, label them. If there's any problems throughout the build, we know how to find that wire because it's all labeled throughout the entire boat. So this is our machine that actually cuts the cables to length and then prints the information on it. 46 Valhalla head interior outlets. So when they're running the cable, if there's ever an issue for service or anything on the back end of the build, they're able to trace these lines efficiently and effectively. Every single one has the exact same wiring harness done to it with it labeled, its boat length, and what the actual cable is terminating to. This is the paint shop, this is the paint booth, and we have multiple dipping tanks for coating it that we have done, and also powder coating is done here as well. Mill, 
which just keeps going back. Big section, HVACs, prepping all the components. As you can see, we have showers here. Again, go get house, plumbing done in house. Fuel tanks are getting tested, refrigeration components. Guys are building boxes, insulating, running copper coils, getting systems ready. All of our components prepping for paint. Going further back into the belly of the beast, as they say, this is gonna be our bi glass for Viking fiberglass. We call it bi glass. This is where all the fiberglass components are made and assembled. So behind us is a ton of, as you can see, fly bridges, there's more deck houses, there's radio boxes. It's endless. The parts just keep coming out here. And further back, tanks are being laid up. They're all infused and they're all tested here in house. Again, we try to control every single aspect of building our boat. And in doing so, the quality control is far superior to others in the business. So once the parts have been pulled, they go through here for patching. And we also have a state of the art dust machine that's here so that these guys can work in a clean environment and continue to get their work done in an efficient manner. And as you come further down the line, you're gonna see the 38 hole mold, which is where yours is currently at. Here's actually 38218, which is your four deck that's getting laid up and laminated right now. So this juncture, they're putting in the dry core material. They're starting to lay up the boat. They're making sure all their final measurements are there. They're ready to start moving forward on the production line. Once it's been tightly laid up, they will pull it with our overhead cranes here and that'll move up the production line to go through patching and eventually make its way onto the boat once it's through the mechanical phase. So behind us is actually your hole going through the lamination phase as well. So as you can see here, your 38 is being laid up right now. You guys are hole number 18. So they're still building the boat. They're still making the bottom of the boat extremely strong, stable, and the best of our ability that we do. That's why we build a better boat every day. So this is the four peaks of your 38 bill fish and that's actually the interior liner. So inside of the house, these two will get sandwiched together and you'll have a finished, fully nice fiberglass part inside of the boat. Okay, all of the hole bolts are on turning rigs, right? So that enables our fiberglass specialist to be able to roll that hole on its side and work more efficiently and comfortably. There are long days in there. This helps production on every single level, right? It keeps all of these boats mobile so they're able to move and rotate, but it also helps for production efficiencies, which is what we're all about here at Viking. Our gel coat crew comes in overnight and sprays our gel coat so then first thing in the morning when the guys come in, it's ready and they're already starting to chop the boat and start laying up right again. So again, there's another efficiency that we figured out in our 60 years of how to make that work in an efficient way with very little downtime in the production level. So our mantra here at Viking is not always building a better boat every day, but we're also about building the boats in a smarter way, right? We're all about efficiencies and making things be as smooth as they possibly can be from start to finish. So in doing so, we've learned over our 60 years here building boats of how to make things more streamlined, more efficient, and more effective to get from the raw materials all the way up to the finished product, which we'll be seeing in a little bit. So five production lines, starting with one, and then we'll go all the way down to line four and five. This is part of the mechanical phase. Once they come through by glass, these guys are getting all the electrical in, the plumbing, obviously all the furniture components, and it moves up the line, as you can see on the next boat. Now that we've established line one and two, we're gonna head to line three, four, and five. Same thing as the other first line one and two. The holes and parts come through by glass and hit the mechanical phase. As you can see, deck caps are getting put on, combers are being installed, components are already in. To your right, you're going through interior finishings, they're putting in the veneer, all the finishings, and as you continue to move aft on the line, all the other components are getting installed as you can see. Overhead lockers, bathrooms, staterooms, all those components are getting installed here. Engines are getting installed this boat. They're just starting to put everything in. They're doing the risers right now. Fuel tanks are in. Steering components are starting to get put in. So this is the end of production line three, four, and five. This is the final moment before the boat gets put out in the building. It's where bootstripes are put on, pinstripes, any additional patching that needs to get done. Sometimes the masts are buffed here and the boats will continue to move out the line and then go to sea trial startup and testing. I believe last year we built and sold 66 Vikings and 
close to 100 Valhalla's. And this year, obviously, we want to target more if we can. So that's part of being efficient on our production line, trying to make our deadlines and keep to our production schedule, which is very tight. But with the staff that we have here, the best boat builders in the world, so nothing's unobtainable. 38 is our smallest sport fish that we make. It's a great size for an owner operator. There's multiple configurations. There's the open, there's also with the solid bulkhead or not, and a second station as well. So it's a great boat for owners. In your case, it's a great bow boat, right? It's a pulpit boat you guys can get on your bigger ships, which is a great size for you and extremely agile, fast, comfortable boat. And again, with not being the biggest in the fleet, it also feels very large when you're on board. So it's a great fishing vessel for anyone in the class that doesn't need a ginormous sport fish, that wants efficiencies, that wants ease of use of ownership, easily accessible to work on. You have a sea keeper option and we'd build them however the owner wants them. So we're semi custom production boat builders, but we're here to accommodate the owner's requests and needs. And we work with our engineering group, the owners, their designers, and we collaborate together to make the vision come together for how they expect it to be. Now the building is the quarter mile from the back of the building all the way to the front where the boats get lifted from the travel lift and brought down to our make ready dock where they get splashed, they get fueled and they go through their startup and sea trials. So now we're out outside of the building. You can see we have huge overhead doors this is where all the boats are coming out of. We have a travel lift stage here. And as we go back a little bit further, we have another building, which is where Palm Beach Towers does their tower work. And if any of the boats are getting full, it's a large enough building, they can get in with their full size towers and get their work done. And this is our make ready dock. So this is where all the boats come, come down the trail, go into the well, and then they go for their initial startup, which is where our engine specialists come over and they make sure that the engines are optimized, performance is good. And then we have a, uh, a sea trial as well, maybe one or two additional after the startup to optimize performance. That can be anything from engine alignment to certain struts, wheels, strip changes, all of that stuff. We make sure that the boats are as efficient and performing at top notch before they ever leave the factory. What you were just looking at is a 46 billfish. That's part of the billfish family, obviously, the bigger brother to the 38. 46 is another great owner-operated boat, but the interior layout is a little bit different. So the 38 is specific to certain owners and what they're doing. And with your program, it is definitely designed for fishing and hardcore fishing. 46 has a little bit more of an interior space for more accommodations for the family and that type of uh, more creature comfort, shall we say. This boat actually just got back from sea trial, so they're gonna stage that, they're gonna take that out and get her ready probably for, it looks like uh, maybe a little bit of cleaning and detailing. Just behind us, we have multiple boats here. They're going in different phases of production. As you can see, this first boat, pipe work was just assembled, I believe last week by Palm Beach Towers, and now they're gonna be putting that hard top on. The next boat after that, another one that has its foe getting done and the one next to that full tower boat that's going through its processes. So on any given day, these boats are running, uh, maybe not just one, but multiple. With here, we wait for a high tide schedule. So if you're ever in the area and it's high tide, there's probably a good chance you're gonna see a Viking or Valhalla running out in the Bass River. So the whole process from start to finish with the engineering concepts and, and you know the actual physical build of the boat, it's, it's about six and a half, seven months total. Basically with the 38, one of the big constraints was they wanted to be able to lift the boat onto the mothership. So doing that, we had to remove a couple things. So you try to keep to a certain weight. We've had to really take special notice of water makers and Eskimos, things like that, just to try to make sure that they get the, the, the mandatory items for their list, which were sonar and, and you know the anchor system. And in the event we have the ability to move forward and put the Eskimo in and the water maker, we're gonna do that. But it's all, again, gonna be geared towards the weight, staying under a certain weight so the boat is mobile and pickable by the mothership. I can't wait to see the boat on the Instagram posts and all the YouTube videos and things like that. Just the, the fishing of it, because the boat is amazing. It's a great fishable boat. So that from that to the loading on the mothership and taking it around and doing the world tour and being a part of it, it's just, it's all gonna be just badass. I just want to say that it's great to be able to work with Steve and Anthony. Again, I've worked with them in the past and I'm really looking forward to doing all this with them and, and essentially being a part of the of the finished bear company product. So it's really gonna be something to something to talk about for sure. Palm Beach. Is that where you're heading? Show? Yeah. Are you really? Yeah. So don't fall down the stairs. Yeah. <laughs> We're walking. <laughs> All right. All right. See you, brother. All right, man. Good to see you. Always appreciate you. Always a pleasure.
All right. Thank you. I just finished up our trip up here at Viking headquarters and I met with all the engineers and our project manager and uh, they had everything all prepared for us and didn't hear no even one time. They were just uh, wanting to help and try and figure out how to make everything better. It, uh, I don't know, I can't say enough about these guys and Pat Healy and the rest of the Healy family for bending over backwards to help us out and accommodate us, uh, pulling that boat out of mothballs and building one just for us and then making all the custom modifications we need. Not one thing that was on the list we didn't get done and, and everything exceeded our expectations. This thing is truly going to be a weapon and can't wait to, to get on it and drive it around. I mean, unbelievable. It never happens like that, huh?